Hello, this is 3 Minute Film School, your no-nonsense guide to the world of filmmaking, all in 3 minutes or less. This video's topic is the camera lens. The camera lens has a critical impact on what you see on screen. This is why it's the first thing you need a basic understanding of. Wide Angle Lens The wide angle lens is best used for wide shots because it shows a lot of detail in the frame. The wide angle lens can show depth very clearly. Objects in the foreground appear bigger than objects in the background. A lot of the image can be in focus, although it is possible to blur the background or foreground and swap focus, also called rack focus. If used for close-ups, a wide angle lens can create distortions in the subject if it is close to the camera. Narrow angle lens, also called telephoto lens. The narrow angle lens magnifies a small portion of the view in front of the camera. This lens is best used for close-ups because it shows less detail in the frame and there's less lens distortion. Narrow lenses can also be used for wide shots, but the image will look taken from far away rather than from nearby. All objects will appear similar in size, meaning there will be less depth. Lenses between wide and narrow and the extremes. There are many types of lenses used in between the extremes of wide and narrow. The human eye sees the world in a way that's closer to a mild narrow angle lens. In the far extremes, you have lenses that create images very different to how the human eye sees, like the fisheye lens, which is basically an ultra-wide and curved lens that warps perspective, or macro lenses that are used in microscopes or telescopes. These are the bare essentials about the camera lens. Physical camera lenses and how to use cameras is a profession in itself. It takes a long time to master. If you're an aspiring filmmaker, I recommend learning the basics and adding more information according to the needs of your specific project.